Hello, and today I'm reading World of Wonders in Praise of Fireflies, Whale Sharks, and Other Astonish Astonishments by Amy Nesukamatatil. And I'm so excited. I love this book so much during the fall. So this book is a nature memoir. So this, this book covers different parts of the author's life, but also connects it to pieces, animals, plants, trees, pieces of nature that were either in her life during that time and she associates with that time or are just relevant and she kind of um can compare to the time so let me i'll give you examples of that in a few minutes but i love the way amy nezu kamatati writes she's a creative writing professor uh at ole miss and a poet so i do think that of course informs like how i received all of this um this beautiful writing about nature so if any of that interests you this was my first nature memoir and i loved it but if any of that interests you i definitely highly recommend picking it up so i will talk about um when when i realized i love this book and this author and i'm definitely going to keep reading it's a part where she talks about oh yeah she talks about touch me not this plant and she's also talks about just unwanted touching and like like unwanted advances interactions and things like that and so this is i'll read from it so how i wish i could fold inward and shut down and shake off predators with one touch what a skill what a thrill that could be touch me not on the dance floor don't you see my wedding ring touch me not in the subway touch me not on the train on a plane in a cab or a limo touch me not in a funicular going up the side of a mountain Touch me not on the deck of a cruise ship. Touch me not in the green room right before I go on stage. Touch me not at the bar while I wait for my to-go order. Touch me not at a faculty party. Touch me not if you are a visiting writer. Touch me not at the post office while I'm sending, while I'm waiting to send a letter to my grandmother. Let me and my children and everyone's children decide who touches them and who touches them not. Touch them not, touch them not. And yeah, like that's, a perfect example of what she does throughout this book but that was my favorite like my favorite execution of it and then there's another one that kind of summed up the book for me just kind of kept propelled me forward in this love of nature like I know you've seen a few more hikes and things like that but it just kind of sparked my love of being more observant while I'm outside and stuff like that it is this way with wonder. It takes a bit of patience and it takes putting yourself in the right place at the right time. It requires that we be curious enough to forego our small distractions in order to find the world. And yes, so I love this book. I think this was a 2020 Barnes & Noble like book of the year. So I, of course, didn't read it until like September. Yeah, September of this year, but... <sighs> highly recommend this one and I really think you should check it out whether you love nature or not and, the, and if there's an audiobook I suggest reading that because um Amy Nezu Kamatatio is a um like a poet and a teacher so she does a lot of speaking so if there's an audiobook read by her I highly recommend it because I've watched her like talks and a few poetry readings and stuff like that so I think this would be a good book on audio as well so that's it for this book review hopefully i did it in five minutes or less but let me know if you have interest in reading this or if you read it already and otherwise i'll see you in my next video